hey everybody had two questions that are uh, very similar so five six nine to beast mode um, asked how how do you go about pricing your clothing and then David Martinez um, asked what is a good markup percentage from my manufacturing cost uh, to selling to the store um, I think I touched on this somewhere but um, I'll, I'll use t-shirts as an example since that's very pertinent to most people watching this um, when I was the creative director at Arisu we would sell t-shirts for 12 bucks and those are screen printed tees uh, or what you might categorize as graphic tees uh, when I was the senior men's designer at Ezekiel we had a few tiers now uh, skate and surf can go a little bit lower at times so I believe we we're selling our printed t-shirts for eleven dollars at Ezekiel and then we had another tier of premium tees um, and then uh, cut and sew tees so the way you would go about pricing that or any other garment is to work backwards from your actual unit cost once it's landed um, so if you're if you're making stuff domestically it doesn't matter because you, you just pick it up from your from your vendor but if uh, you get the unit cost from overseas like from China um, you still have to take care of logistics and get it from Guangzhou to your warehouse um, in Minnesota or wherever you're at or you know Denver Colorado wherever that is so that's gonna add a few dollars to it um, and so one note that we do with mass production is we'll try to work backwards from the projected number so um, for example, uh, the t-shirts that we would sell to retail at $12 at Arisu would then go uh, to shops and sell for $26 to $28. Um, that way, if they need to uh, put the items on sale, they have a little bit of padding. Also, uh, with certain retail, depending on your arrangement, you can, uh, you can have them switch out whatever you have inventory of, uh, but that's a whole other YouTube video. Um, but they keystone the price so it's it's a hundred percent or more than a hundred percent of whatever you sell um, a lot of times you have the suggested retail but really once you sell to retail they can sell for whatever they want bearing in mind they have to compete with everybody else you sold to so if you sell them a jacket for 20 bucks they're gonna sell it for around 40 more times than not 40 45 somewhere in and around there so for you to make profit you have to hopefully cut that cost in half so if you're selling something for 20 hopefully you get it the unit cost down 10 bucks you know 11 bucks somewhere in there and um, as for the t-shirt example um, if you're selling to the shop for 12 hopefully you're not going over six bucks hopefully you can get it around five bucks um, and I I've made videos about how when you increase the numbers of production and you have a buying basis it makes it so much easier to lower that cost down to like three dollars two dollars in some cases if you're doing really big volume so you see how you change your margin um, and you probably have a, a really good base for selling so you're making so much money if you're successful and rolling and there's momentum um, but I hope that helps so in terms of pricing your clothing of uh, um, the beast mode cats like like in terms of uh, pricing it we begin or I begin with production target price of how I'm building the garment you know so for t-shirts that's simple like you know if you, if you got to bring it down from a, a, a four color design to a three color design and make sure that's all within cost uh, to get it you know neck hits and and bagged and folded and ready to ship out then you want to work backwards from there um, hope that helps that should that one's a good one it should be really helpful for people who are really trying to um, analyze their numbers uh, anything to add to it please drop it down below um, I'll see you guys on the internet peace